Hey everyone. Yes, to answer your question, these are uh, Dragon Egg Candles from Game of Thrones. And also, yes, I'm missing the show immensely, as you can tell. I have so much free time on my hands now that I have no Game of Thrones to watch. So I'll probably restart it soon. But given that I haven't done this yet, I thought I'd teach the theme song, uh, the intro to it, that everybody recognizes. It's pretty simple. Uh, there's a more advanced version that I'll show you the left hand for. Um, so if you want to get it to a different level, uh, to sound a little more professional or whatever, you can. But um, I'll just teach the basics and then get up from there. So let's start with the um, playthrough, where I'll show you what it'll be. And then if you want to learn it afterwards, I'll write it down note by note. So here we go. advanced version okay quick spoiler alert um, so skip ahead 30 seconds if you haven't seen the show which is ridiculous um, and you're learning this it doesn't make any sense um, but the bass line that I'm doing at the end there, the that bass line, you'll recognize from the scene where Cersei is blowing up the church and her cousin is climbing towards the explosion stuff, whatever, and um, also when the old man is getting stabbed by the kids, uh, which is awesome. So I thought I'd use that as a bass line because it's... Um, not done in the song itself, but I thought it'd be kind of a cool way to dress it up a little differently. Spoilers over. Um, again, if you haven't seen the show, I don't even know why you're watching this, uh, but whatever, you do you. Um, so basically, I'm gonna start with the right hand and show you uh, the pattern that repeats in pretty much every hand position you're doing, just different notes, um, and then I'll break down the left hand. So, you want your hand in this position, thumb on C, uh, pinky on G, third finger on E flat, and F for the fourth finger there. So we're starting on the high note, so G to the low note, C, and then walking up E flat, F, G, down to the C. Okay, and the intro, that was the first part where it goes from the, to the major, uh, it just goes like this, uh, where you're doing that exact pattern I just showed you for four times, and then we uh, move the middle finger down to the E, which is super simple, and do the same thing. Four times through of each. Then we go back to the actual uh, beginning of the song. And it rotates uh, down to the, or uh, changes down to this. Uh, and what we're doing there is just, as a transition note, we're using E flat, going down to D, and then our thumb goes down to uh, G. And we do the same pattern where we're doing D to G, walking up B flat, C, D to G. And then this time, the transition is uh, hopping from G to D. And this uh, same idea, same pattern, just uh, F with the pinky, thumb on B flat, and walking up from D to E flat to F. But after we hit that B flat, the transition on this one's a little different. We walk down from E flat to D to C. And that's the first note of the next one, which is... Okay, and that one's dissonant and is the same pattern, but it's actually moved closer uh, in terms of notes. So we're playing the A flat here, the B flat, the C, and the pinky, or sorry there, the thumb is on uh, G. So it's really close and dissonant, which works well with the, the darkness of that C. So it's really cool, sets it up to go back to the, to the kind of jumpiness of that, and it's just kind of like a low, haunted kind of idea. So that's that. Um, after that, we just go back to the beginning, but the intro bit that's like this, where it goes to major, doesn't get repeated uh, after that. You just play through the uh, part that is this.
those four different parts, okay? And that just repeats. As for the left hand, super simple bass line throughout the entire thing. It's C, G, B flat, C, and then that repeats. C, G flat, B flat, C. The only exception to this is the intro where we just hold it as C. And what I'm doing there was when you uh, played it through, it's just a uh, fifth. So it's uh, C and G. Yep, just leaving out the middle because if you did, it would clash. Okay? So I'm just doing C and G as one option for the left hand, down to uh, G and D as the second um, one under this, which is B flat and F, and then down to C and G because if you just go back and do it. just sounds a little bit lacking something. It adds that underneath and then you come back up and do the a more advanced version. It can kind of build it, which is nice. You can do whatever you want though. So the uh, left hand is basically just that C, G, B flat, C. But if you want to add something a little more, you can add one of these variations. Basically the one that I played in the beginning is this. And I explained how that's coming from a later time in the series where that scene happens, which I won't spoil again. Uh, but the idea is just it's going from C to G to E flat, which is the same as this uh, triad here, but um, it's spreading it out. So the first, the fifth, and then the third. And I say that as this is the third of C and in this uh, scale, and then this is the fifth. Okay, and we're just spreading them out. So that's the way you're thinking about it. So going from C to G to E flat, and then rocking from G to E flat to G. So just get comfortable doing that. And then we're doing it on G, D, B flat. Rocking. And then this one's a bit of a stretch. It feels like it should be C or B here. It feels like it should be this, but it actually has to go to D. So B flat, F, D. Quite a stretch, and if you have smaller hands, you might have to kind of move through it differently. Um, but I'll give you an option for smaller handed people uh, in a moment. And then the last one is just down to the same first one, uh, C, G, and E flat. And a lower octave would work the best. Because like if you're playing it here, it adds something more there um, to it. So uh, for people with small hands, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Um, you don't have to play just the boring version. You can dress it up a little bit. And the way I would recommend doing that is like this. Same idea, I did play the abbreviated version there, obviously I'm just playing through one idea of each and then it's supposed to be four, but I'm just playing it for time's sake so I don't play through this a million times. Um, basically what you're doing is the same thing we were just doing spread out, but you're doing it closed hand. So you're bringing the third back to the middle of the first and fifth. So we're going uh, C, E flat, G, E flat, G, E flat, E flat, G, E flat, G, E flat, C. And then we're doing that on G to B flat and D. Doing the triad here with B flat, D and F. And down to the C, C, E flat, B, uh, G. Okay. Um, the only other thing I wanted to mention is that the part that I'm playing, and when I play this whole thing, I'm playing kind of the string part, if you'll notice, and it's actually not exactly the lead line of the song. I like it because it's a little more filled out, whereas the lead line sounds like this. Then you wait. Something like that. You know, it goes, they have different variations on that, but that's the general idea. I like to do the Adds a little more. 
If you did want to play just the lead line, that's fine. It is the same hand positioning as I taught you. Um, it just leaves out the that part. Um, so don't worry about it, uh, but if you want to do that, just listen to the song itself. It's in the same key as the um, original. Uh, and so if you play that from the album, you can just play along with it and you'll, you'll pick it up really quick. The, it's simpler than what we're teaching here. So basically, if you guys want to learn more of this song, I can teach the rest of it. I just have to sit down and really uh, learn it. Um, so let me know in the comments and like it if you did like it and dislike it if you hated it. Um, and if you did hate it, leave me a comment as to why. I'd love to know. love to understand why people don't like videos and such. Uh, super fun stuff. Um, but I hope you liked it and uh, comment and let me know what else you want to learn too. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.